Hello, my friends. May God bless all of you. And may the Holy Spirit, in His infinite patience, tolerance, long suffering, His kindness, goodness, may the Spirit of the Almighty God, the God who is Spirit, may He enlighten your mind, or even more, or even better. May He open your understanding and dwell in your mind, be part of your thoughts, or better yet, lead our thoughts, our thoughts. That's it. Because whoever has the Spirit or whoever has the mind of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is, which is the Holy Spirit, they have someone to instruct them towards the right direction, to make the right choices. It's like we've been saying, it's easy to choose what is wrong, as it's easy to choose what is right. You only have to sacrifice your flesh, sacrifice yourself. We only have to stop being Lord of our own selves and allow God to be Lord over our lives, over our lives. When we have the Spirit of God, we have the mind of Christ. Therefore, His mind will lead us, conduct us towards the right choices. And that's why we've been insisting for people to receive the baptism in the Holy Spirit. You have to want it. You have to desire it for, for the Holy Spirit above everything that there is on the face of the earth and in the world, in the universe. He has to be the first. When the Holy Spirit comes, then the kingdom of God makes itself present inside of us. It's very nice, very nice indeed. You see that the testimonies that we show here every day, these testimonies always mention, oh, my life was like this, was bad, I was lost, and then I came to church and I was blessed. I returned to my father's house, I rebuilt my family and my business. However, there was still something missing. I didn't know what it was. I still had a void in my soul. Why? because they didn't have the Holy Spirit. But when I received the Holy Spirit, that was it. That was it. I became a new person. I became a new person. I stopped being depressed and anxious. I stopped being a person who was envious of others. I stopped being proud. I stopped being vain. I stopped being, you know, all those things that was harming me. I left behind the old friendships that were not good for me. You know that those who lie with dogs will rise up with fleas. Yes or no? So if you walk with bad company, then obviously you are going to feed yourself with what they eat and suffer the consequences. So, my dear friend, if you don't know what this proverb meant, this is that the fleas, you know, everything that is bad, that is harmful to, for your life, for your spiritual life, that's what the fleas would mean. So the person who walks with those who are of the world, they will suffer the consequences the consequences that people in the world face as well. But when they receive the Holy Spirit, they have a new mind. 
they have new thoughts, they receive direction, they have guidance, they have the blessing itself, they become the blessing itself, because Jesus promises that, that whoever drinks from the water that I shall give him, which is the Holy Spirit, this water will make in him a fountain, so the person becomes a fountain of living waters springing up to eternal life. They become the blessing itself. Why? Because the Spirit of the Almighty makes Himself present in their being, in their mind. That's why the Apostle Paul, directed by the Holy Spirit, said, For who has known the mind of the Lord that He, he may instruct him? Nobody. God is instruction Himself. He is everything, self-existent. But we, he concludes, we have the mind of Christ, which means we have the thoughts of God. So, for us who have the Holy Spirit, then we are able, we are aware, we have strength, we have power to say no to evil and yes to good. Of course, those who don't have the mind of Christ, they have the mind of the devil. No doubt about that. I'm sorry if you get offended, but it's true. Because those who have the mind of Christ live an orderly life with discipline. The kingdom of God is a kingdom of discipline. The kingdom of God is not a, a kingdom of disorder. The kingdom of God is a kingdom of discipline. Why would a person want to get married, for example? They want to get married to establish their life, to establish a family. Family is order. It's order. It's discipline. Because the wife becomes the wife of one husband only. The husband becomes the husband of one woman only. So, they both become one body. But the question is, who wants to do that? Who wants to do that? Only those who are in the kingdom of order, the kingdom of God. Therefore, those who do not have the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, they live a life of disorder, the kingdom of darkness. They live under the direction of hell. That's it. So today, for example, in all the universal churches of the kingdom of God, we are going to have the spiritual cleansing to remove the evil spirits. If there is an evil spirit in your mind, everything that you do will go wrong. Everything that you do goes wrong. Yes or no? You have no choice. You feel like you have no choice because the spirit of evil makes itself present within you. The unclean spirit. By the way, they, they call unclean spirit. And they, these spirits are inside of the person. They are not outside leaning towards the person. They are inside. The unclean spirits. Come on, my friends. When we receive the spirit of God, that's it. It's over. The devil no longer has the right to touch your body, your physical body. Isn't it nice? However, it's you that need to make the choice. If you know that your life is a mess, from the top of your head to the tip of your toes, your life is a mess, your family is a mess. For example, for example, one of the signs of disorder and mess that there is in people's lives and in their soul, it's on the outside. The house is a mess. Yes or no? Clothes everywhere. And so on. And rotten food in the fridge. And so on. 
It's a mess. You know what mess is. You know very well. Everything is upside down. Yes or no? The house is a mess. It's funny because I was... There are many assistants there in the United States that they work um, in the houses, cleaning people's houses. And they were telling me, Bishop, you have no idea what the house of these people are like. You have no idea, Bishop. There, we have to clean their houses weekly. One day a week, we go there to clean their house. You have no idea. No, you can't even imagine. Porque because usually there in their houses, they have a basement. And the basement, the basement is like this. People who live there, the residents, they go to the shopping centers and they buy, they have that fixation for buying and buying and buying. They buy a lot. They really buy a lot of things. But we go to their basement and there are boxes upon boxes and things and more things. But it's a huge mess. Inside of the house, the same thing. It's not just in the basement because they take the objects, the furniture, and they wrap them up in the boxes and, and just put it aside. They don't even care. The house is a real mess, literally a mess. And the clothes, women's underwear thrown on the floor, you have no idea. And this is how the life of many people have been. The soul of many people are like this, in hell, lost. The soul is without any guidance. But the soul is the soul. It's a soul. It doesn't die. What will it do? It will suffer. It will grow and suffer because of the emptiness of insomnia, fear, nervousness, anxiety, worries, and so on, because of the hell that the person lives in. The soul, the soul will pay back, it will groan, you know, but people do not listen to the cry out of their soul. But when a person has the awareness, knowledge of the Word of God, you know, they receive God's invitation and Him saying, come to me, all you who are heavy laden and weary, and I will give you rest. When a person receives the Holy Spirit, it's such a peace, such peace. And added to peace comes joy, complete joy of Jesus, joy of the Lord Jesus Christ. It invades our soul, and the soul is satisfied, the soul is fed, the soul then is provided with everything it needs. So when the soul enters the kingdom of God, then it lives under the discipline of the kingdom of God. Each man, a husband of one woman, each woman, a wife of one husband only. It, it, it's the natural order, isn't it? Isn't it like this? Isn't it what you want? You want to be happy. Happiness is order, it's discipline. Happiness is not disorder, each man for themselves and God for all. No, God doesn't do like that. He doesn't work this way. Each person for God and God for all those who fear Him. So if you want to have the mind of the Lord Jesus, for example, 
you like that we are here teaching, preaching to you, praying for you, isn't it? Who does that? Who was I before I, I was able to do that? I was a proud young man, angry, moody. I had a really bad temper. I couldn't even stand my own self. I remember that one time I was angry at my sister that we lived together, but I stayed up for about a year without talking to her. Why? Because I was not in the kingdom of God. I was in the kingdom of darkness, in the kingdom of the world, the kingdom of hell. But when I got to know the word of the Lord Jesus, and I gave myself, I allowed myself to be led by the Spirit of the Lord Jesus, by the direction from the Lord Jesus, then my soul was put in perfect order. And then I asked her for forgiveness and so on. I became free from all that mess, that horrible mess that I lived in, that my soul was in. And my body, of course, was very thankful. Therefore, my friend, today is the 13th, isn't it? Friday the 13th. One day I'm going to speak more about this, what it means. However, for people who didn't have yet access to the Holy Spirit, then you have access to the unclean spirits, the dirty spirits, and you want to be free from them, from this hellish lifestyle that you live in. You want to be free from it. Don't come today, don't come today to the Universal Church to ask for A, B or C. Come to resolve your problem. Come to resolve your problem. Because if you don't resolve your problem first, the problem of your soul, I mean, then how are you going to want to pray for others? How are you going to try to help others? You are dying. How can a person who is about to sink save somebody else if they are dying? No, it's not possible. So come to save your own soul. And then, yes, you are going to be able to help your family, your family members, your loved ones, and so on. So first resolve your own problem. Save yourself first, my friend. Save your soul, giving it to the Lord Jesus Christ, to let Him become Lord of your soul. Today, in all the universal churches of the kingdom of God, we are going to have, or we have, because it's already happened, the spiritual cleansing services to undo the works of witchcraft, juju, everything, black magic, every work that was done against you will be undone if you come believing that it will be done to you. Do you believe? Then come because the Lord Jesus will fulfill His promise in your life through His servants, okay? We are going to end here. Tomorrow we are going to be back. And don't forget, don't forget that those who have the mind of the Lord Jesus Christ, they are living in the kingdom of God. And obviously, the Holy Spirit conducts their life in such a way that they only make the right choices or better. They have the strength, rather, and power to make choices that are correct and to turn their back to evil. May God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.